In this video, I want to go over the MSI 1070 Ti video card that we went over yesterday. This board came in because of a broken capacitor. We replaced the capacitor. What we did was take a through-hole capacitor from another donor board. We spread the legs and we used it as an SMD capacitor. So if you did not watch the previous video, let me show you what was done. This is the cap right here. And this cap was really a through-hole capacitor with two legs that goes through the board. The board here is an SMD board, so it accepts SMD capacitors. What we did is we spread the legs, one to the left and one to the right, and we soldered that capacitor on like this, so that we do not have to apply heat on an SMD capacitor. We did it that way because it's safer and we do not have to use heat on the board and possibly melt the plastic connectors that you see on the board here or even blow that capacitor like what happened to us in the previous video. So this morning I was going through the comments and a few of the comments mentioned wouldn't spreading the legs on the capacitor touch the shell of the capacitor and possibly create a short? The answer is no. Why would I want a capacitor to short out on this board? So the question is, what material is on the outside shell of the capacitor? The answer is, we do not care. We do not care what material is used on that capacitor. We care about if this shell is conductive or not. We care about if we put our probes, our multimeter probes on this capacitor if we're going to have a beep in continuity mode or not. We care about if we put the meter in resistance mode, are we going to read any resistance or is the meter going to read OL? Well? That's what we care about. Now, the first thing I want to do is put the meter in continuity mode. Okay. And we're going to test to see if we have a short on the left and right pin. Those two pins are touching the shell. Did that create a short? Let's see probe here and a probe here and of course not we don't have a short is the shell of the capacitor conductive let's find out first let's touch the probes to make sure probes are working and let's touch the shell is not conductive so it doesn't matter if those legs touch the shell the shell is not conductive it's not going to create a short circuit what if we go into resistance mode let me put the meter into resistance mode and put my two probes here and the meter is reading oh well it's not conductive what if we put our meter in diode mode oh well what if we go like this oh well what if we go like this red probe on ground and black probe here the meter is reading oh well so the shell of the capacitor is not conductive in any way shape or form it doesn't matter if the legs touch the shell, it's not going to create a short circuit. So I wanted to put this video out. Maybe somebody can learn from this video and know that the shell itself is not conductive. And for those people leaving comments like this without knowing the facts, they are really confusing others. I mean, I want to show you some of the comments that we received. A lot of them went to spam and I did not approve them because they do nothing but confuse others. Let me quickly go over them. Okay, so this comment, is it safe to solder legs? When the capacitor has aluminum outer shell, yes, it's safe because the shell is not conductive. 1071 Ti does not exist. That's true. It's only 1070 Ti. I did mention that. Northridge Fix. Northbridge Fix. It's Northridge Fix. Northridge is the name of the area that I live in. And that's where the name Northridge Fix came from. I live in Northridge and I added the fix and it's Northridge Fix. I have never seen you making rebull of a chip. Why waste the time reboot a chip if I can buy it already reboot? But I do have a few videos on YouTube. I have one where I reboot an SMC chip on a MacBook, and I have one rebooting a Power IC chip on a Samsung. I think it was the S6 Plus or S7. Here, let me show you quick. Right there. Right there. And that's an old video, 2018. I was still using the old microscope. S6 Edge Plus, yeah. S6 Edge Plus and right there. Doing a reball on the chip. Okay, more comments. Isn't the shell of the capacitor made out of aluminum? Could it possibly short the legs if you bend them far enough? It doesn't, as you have seen in this video. The shell is not conductive. And same thing here. Make sure the legs of the capacitor do not short circuit. 
I do not know how people are coming to a conclusion that the shell itself is conductive. You spread the legs of the cap, but now you run the risk of short-circuiting the legs on the cap casing. I do not know if they used to make capacitors with a conductive outer shell, but this shell is most definitely not conductive, and there's no risk of creating a short circuit. So that's it. I hope the message got across, and I will see you again in the next video.